G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds everyone well. Today's video is about super resolution and where you can access it within Adobe Lightroom. Now, as we uh, more than likely know, you can access this tool in other uh, Adobe platforms for editing images, Lightroom Classic and Adobe Camera Raw. And uh, what we're going to do is look at how we do it in the new Lightroom. So it's super easy and uh, really quick and uh, it can certainly be a great way to increase the resolution of your images. And it does a reasonable job, which is uh, always a good thing, particularly if you're wanting to print those images really, really big. All right, so you can see we've just navigated to an image that I actually photographed in Scotland. It was just a bee enjoying some beautiful flowers. Uh, just in the front area of a particular church that we were uh, visiting. And uh, what we're going to do is just right click and you can see down the very bottom we've got Enhance. Once the dialog box pops up, you can see that it is very similar to the to what you'll find in uh, the other Adobe uh, options. Uh, we're just going to unclick Denoise and you can see it gives us the option for super resolution. And uh, estimated time for a single image is five seconds, which is pretty good. All right, so you can see that it's just working through uh, the process there. So we're just going to click on Enhance and see what happens. You can see up on the left-hand top of the screen that it is generating that enhanced file, so generating enhanced DNG, and it'll go through a bit of a process, a little bit longer than five seconds, but uh, still moving through reasonably quickly, which is not a bad thing. All right, so that's all completed, and you can see that we actually have another version of the same image right next to it, and it has a little bit of an extension uh, called Enhanced uh, Super Resolution, and it's a .dng. So you can see the original file was a .raf, so that's gone through pretty smoothly. If we pop down to the bottom right-hand side and hit the Info button there, you can see that it's now created a 12,000 by 8,000. Uh, image file or 12,000 by 8,000 pixels file and that's 173 megabytes as a DNG. The original one was the 24 megapixel XT2 6,000 by 4,000 so you can see that it has created that huge file which uh, no doubt would give you a lot more flexibility if you're printing or producing a large image. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful. Hit the old subscribe button if you want to be notified of more videos from Better Picks. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.